Welcome to my review guide for CEH version 9 questions. Uh, one of the big things that I keep getting is I get a lot of questions on can I give them content or can I give them material. Well, one of the issues is I do have a non-disclosure with EC Council, so I cannot share certain material because I have that non-disclosure. But I can share things like some prep questions, prep concepts. I've been posting lots of labs. I've already posted video lectures on one book's EH material. Uh, there's a playlist for that already. And I'm already writing a second CEH book uh, that will be more prep, more detailed prep material for CEH version 9. And that should be coming out later 2017. So one of the things I did want to point out is some of my background. Uh, I've been a network architect, network engineer, security architect, security engineer for a few years. Uh, compliance, procedural development has been one of my big areas. Um, networking security has also been one of my big areas. Understanding routing and switching, how to secure them, port security, things like that. So my background is more of a networking and security background. Why am I doing this? Honestly, because I've gotten so many emails asking me for content and asking me for material that I cannot share because of that non-disclosure. However, I can start posting short little nidbit videos about four to five minutes in length, uh, talking about five questions at a time until I get through all 125 questions. So what can be expected? Uh, I'm going to try to do a video every few days of five questions that I remember that was on my exam. Again, I'm not going to give specific details on questions because there's a non-disclosure there, but I'm talking more general concepts. Uh, one of the big things is the exam expectation. Everyone says it's a hard exam. It really isn't. It's a theory-based exam that if you study the concept and understand the concepts, you'll be able to pass without an issue. I took my exam and I was finished in about 20 to 25 minutes. I got a 93 on my exam out of 100. And uh, I, I mean, once I started, I flew through the questions. I think realistically, I was done 15, 20 minutes and then I did a once over just for a uh, question that I had that I wasn't sure about. So I went back to revisit them. And that took another five to eight minutes. But I mean, I was in and out no more than 30 minutes tops. Actually, it was quite funny because the person giving my exam was like, oh, did you already finish your exam or did you already start your exam? And I was like, dude, I'm done. Passed. I'm out. But... Again, the material is not super hard. Do you understand the concepts? And that's the important part. That's why I'm doing these videos. I did this as just like a welcome to explanation type video. And I'll be posting, again, five questions at a time until we get through all 125 questions. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, I've already had about seven or eight students take and pass their exam. So the material that I do have does help because, I've already, again, I've already had people take their exam and pass it. Again, questions, leave them in comments, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye.